As soon as I get settled in here, operator. No, it's not. Okay. Um, and say that I know a lot of us are going through things you think you might be the only one going through it, but trust me, you're not. And though it feels like that, and you think you can't trust anyone to tell them your, your problems and your life and whatnot, hanging on to all that by yourself is what most people say might not be the best thing. And I say that because a lot of us feel, a lot of different cultures feel as if they have to hold everything in, you know. And though I, I thought that at first, because that's what my mother taught me, don't air your dirty laundry, don't borrow money, don't ask for help. Thank God, at 23, I moved to San Jose and realized that was not the best option. And I've always thought of myself as a good-looking, intelligent woman that had a good head on her shoulders. Thank God they're wise. a good mind. I don't, I don't know everything. I'm not a very political person. Not that the two go hand in hand. And I'm happy that I made the choice to do something other than what I was taught to do. You know, and sometimes you got it. You got to realize mama wasn't right about everything. She did what she knew to do at the time. And that's all she could do, what she knew at the time. You know, like Oprah always uh, um, repeats, you know, like my Angelo says, when you know better, you do better. And the queen knew to do better, so I did. And it felt really good. It was a good choice. It was a, it was a, a, a great option for me to do something I was not taught to do, you know? It's like our children, we teach them fear. We teach them, you know, oh, the skinny girls, get the, get the football players or basketball players or whatever. And that's not right. And even if you are one of the ones that are teaching your daughters, you know that's not right. So why would you want to, never mind. And, and our sons, be the, be the football captain. Don't just be a player, you gotta be the captain. And that's well and good if your son is really and truly and honestly great at football. But let's face it, a lot of our kids are not great at football, but you tell them that anyway. Cause you wanted to be that, you know? Anyway, I digress. I was speaking with a very wonderful man last night. And for the first time in in a minute. It was really nice to have a conversation without sex, without politics, without... He helped me. <laughs> and it was so moving to me that I, I just had to tell him that, you know, thank you. You know, no, no big thing. And probably to him it was no big thing. However, I find it must be my <laughs> lessons in life to learn to get over challenging men that 
Well, I'm trying not to sound, you know, overbearing, as most men call me, or controlling, but it is challenging to get black men to hear me. Or maybe because, uh, whatever reason, whatever reason, that's, that's, that's neither here nor there. When I say a thing, you might want to hear that. Hi, baby. You know, I married two Latin men. I dated several white men, Indian men, Indian men, Hawaiian men, Chinese men, Japanese men. Yep, I'm just a little rainbow. <laughs> you know, so it, it meant a lot to me, and I thank you for hearing me and answering my question. Wow. That was a, a truly wonderful, beautiful experience. I got to tell you people out there, ladies and men who feel like ladies don't listen to you. <laughs> um, it's really nice to get the help that you asked for in under five minutes. It was... moving. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else to call it. It was moving, it was, it was you know, I gotta tell you, it was almost damn near erotic, I tell you. So you see little girls, and thank you my angel by the way for helping me last night, I appreciate you for that. Hold on, hello oh, youngsters. You know, we think because things start tingling and mingling and that's that you know love and that da, 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 da. oh and he looked at me like this and she did that so she must want me to do no it's not that at all eventually you will see it is not that at all excuse me you will see that the deeds done is what turns into the emotion love is a deed and then that deed turns into an emotion. You know, my brother was right. Now at 50, I see he was so right about that when he told me that when I was 17. So let's all try to remember, and I remind myself right now that life is what I make it. I make, I create my own happiness or unhappiness, okay? Just like you create yours, and, and unfortunately a lot of times ours has to mingle, but I have to remember that yours isn't mine, and mine isn't yours, and I'm gonna love you no matter, and not begrudge you however you think your happiness should be. You know, I am the queen, I can let you have your peace of mind until you enter my domain, when you enter my kingdom, then it's my way. And yeah, that kind of sounds like a little baby, but I, I, though I'm not a baby, I act like one though, a lot of times. <laughs> I respect your right to do whatever you feel you need to do until I say, please don't do that. And it must stop. Because in my house, my happiness comes first. In your house, I respect it to give you your happiness first reciprocity, you know, and being the queen in my kingdom, I would like for all the youngsters to A, be happy, B, figure out what it takes to be happy and do that, not, her, not harming in others in any way, shape, or form. And C, to realize that maybe your thought of happiness could be learned a different way. You know? You thought you only like apples, red apples. Have you ever had a green apple? No. Oh, see, you might like a green apple. It's a little tart sometimes. I don't particularly care for tart. I'm a sweet person. Therefore, I eat 
all varieties of red apples. <laughs> I have not come across a tart red apple yet, so I stick to those. You know, it's... At some point, you have to get to the point to where you say, all that other crap doesn't matter, okay? And though I've been striving for a long time to get there, I really didn't get there probably till 42. And you just try something different, and something different, and something different, and something different. And you don't cut your nose off to spite your face and say, no, I don't like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not shitting on you. You could, you could. You could say whatever you want. But I'm telling you this about that, honey. I never thought I'd like onions, and boy, I sure do today. <laughs> Mama said I would. I didn't listen to her. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> Mm, she wasn't. I do love me some grilled onions. I can just eat them plain with some, okay, or with garlic. <laughs> I didn't like garlic when I was younger either. Um, um, and when you grow wiser, I won't even say older, I'll just say wiser. You know, it's, it's, it's a respect thing. First you respect yourself, then you teach others how to treat you. And then they in turn can respect you, the queen. Even if we don't have a king, like Yama was saying in this morning's uh, uh, video she did, I think after the Oprah show, she was on Tuesday. And I'm assuming after she did her thing with Oprah, there's a stage someplace, I don't know. And she, uh, had a lecture or something and that was amazing because I am the queen of my domain I'm not you know here to shit on you I'm here to hopefully educate you 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 if you got an Audi if you got any to realize that everything is what you make it your boss calls you, why didn't you answer the phone at eight o'clock? It's gonna be whatever I make of it. So I tell myself now, now my new trigger is do harm to none, do harm to none. That's the second thing on like the witch's commandments. So now I just tell myself, as bad as I wanna cuss somebody out, do harm to none, okay. I can let it go, because you have the right to be stupid move out the way but you have the right to be stupid you know um, I was okay I'm not even gonna go there sorry um, but just consider just consider the possibilities if I don't lower myself to that and drown in that dead emotion because you're the only one bringing it up the other person's out merry-go-round writing or something and you're like oh, so what is she doing over there, but she, but I'm mad, and she's not even mad. So how come? See you, you tripping, you tripping over your own shoestrings. <laughs> really, you're sitting here mad for nothing. The other person's out having a good time, playing, lollygagging, whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is it is, is what it be. <laughs> you know. So you're the only one sitting wallowing in the mire. Like that up. It's so beautiful. Life is too short to be wasted on some unworthiness. You know? Oh, you thought you thought I should wear yellow today? Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Oh, you thought I should have da 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 okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, sure. Thank you. Alrighty then. I'll try that next time. It's all good. It's all good because you know what? No matter how you are and how they are, that person that most irritates you, that's your greatest teacher, by the way. It's all good. Alright. Whatever. Not whatever. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I can do anything. Whatever. That's fine. You know, it's all good. So, just 
Keep on keeping on. Thank you, baby. Have a good day. Thank you. It's okay. Water on a duck's back. Figure that out. Okay? I am the queen. And my feathers are rarely ruffled. You know? Okay. Love ya. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.